Hey YouTube, it's Keisha22 here bringing you guys a brand new video. Um, today we're going over uh, a precise issue with the brightness not working on Windows 10. Now there's a lot of things that can factor into this, but um, after spending several weeks just trying to fix this, I finally came to a solution. And I'm going to go ahead and share that with you guys and I'll give you guys some other ideas that might help just in case this does not work for you. I have probably visited every link on the internet and I found the issue myself. So um, you're going to go ahead and right click your start and then go into device manager. And this is the tool that we're going to be using. Now I used this several times and it never worked for me. And you know, this was the first thing I did before I even looked anything up, but for some reason it just did not work. Um, I want to go ahead and show you guys that um, it's not working, or perhaps it, it is because I fixed it. Well, if it's not working on my screen, but it's probably working on your guys's. And before that bar was not there after um, before I fixed it. So if your bar isn't there, that was the same issue I ran into. So I kept going into Display Driver, and I tried changing these. And what you'll notice is that when I go in here, that I have several drivers that I had even installed and went out of my way trying to install it. Those are not the install dates, but I, I had installed two other drivers, uh, more updated drivers than what I already had. So the problem originated not in the display adapter, but actually underneath the monitor. And that's where I was kind of confused because I just, for some reason, I didn't think of it being the monitor. I just think it would be the display adapter. What you actually need to do is underneath the um, monitor, you're going to go ahead and do update driver and hit let me pick from a list of available drivers. And there should be another one. And if not, you can probably Google compatible uh, monitor drivers for your computer, um, which shouldn't be too hard. Um, they, they have some basic general ones for all computers out there as well. So that fixed my issue. Um, another thing that I've noticed um, that I did yesterday that found even more issues not even related to this was SFC. Um, I believe it's, let me see here. So this is something you have to run as administrator. So what you would want to do is run command prompt as and do SFC forward slash question mark and it'll tell you what you can do. And what you're going to do is do SFC slash scan now. Now what this is going to do, it's going to do a system file check. And this is going to check all the system files on your computer and replace any of the corrupted files with new files, if that makes sense. So, um, you know, this can fix a lot of issues, um, glitches, bugs, whatever it is. And I think it's important to do this as well, even if this, even if my first solution fixes your problem. Um, there's people who have also said within these forums that um, as their computer starting up, they've used the brightness up and down on their keyboard, the FN functions, just as well um, to see if that's working. People also said that they just didn't know that they had to hold the FN button and press their brightness up and down. So perhaps that's something you might need to try. Um, there is a lock on your escape key. So if you were to hold FN and then press escape, that will unlock and lock your FN keys um, with the function functionality, if that makes sense. So those are a couple things to try. And if you guys have any questions, just shoot down a comment. Perhaps I can help you guys with this problem because I did go through a lot of solutions and only that one worked for me. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.